Hello everybody, it's Miss Savannah from the Boys and Girls Club of Newark and today I'm going to do an activity from Torch Club, Session 5, and it's Accept and Respect. The objective is to help you understand the things people say or do to include and respect others. We will also be doing a brief self-reflection. So the U.S. is home to many kinds of people, different genders, races, ages, religions, and abilities. And everyone deserves to be treated with respect, even if you are different. Would you agree? So diversity is what makes you different, and it's okay to be different. It makes you unique. This is important because we learn from each other. So I'm going to ask some questions, and I want you to take some time to think about them before answering. So I hope you have a pen and paper and a pencil out and ready to go. All right, so what can you do to treat others with respect? Especially people who are different from yourself. So I'll let you think about that. What I do is I usually am very warm and greeting and I always say hello and I smile. So I always show that I'm accepting and I always show that I'm friendly. So that's how I show respect. Question two, what can you say if you see or hear someone treating someone disrespectfully? This is really hard because sometimes it's really tough to speak out, especially if you're in a group and you're being pressured or, you know, you know the case. So it's very hard. But as I got older, I realized it's very important to speak up because you could be the only voice for that person. You can be the only person sticking up or the only person that person has. And that makes them feel like, you know, they are worthy and someone does care. So you can just simply say, hey, that, that's not cool. That's not right. You need to quit. Or you can try to redirect a situation like, look, that's not how you talk to someone. Maybe we could do this better. Or how could you talk to someone better? So self-reflection is very key to understanding how you respect people. Also, why do you think respect is very important? Why do you think that's important? It's important to me because I feel like you need to treat people the way you want to be treated. So if you expect people to show you respect, you need to give out respect in return. So now we're just going to do a quick quiz. And it is called, How Fair Am I? And for each statement, you either put a 1, 2, 3, or 4. 4 being always, you always do this. 1 is never, you never do it. And two is you do it sometimes. And three is rarely. So sometimes and rarely are three. Four is you all four is you always do it. And one is you never do this. So each section, this is the first section. Each section we're gonna add it up. Okay. So here we go. I call people names. So if you always do this, you would put four. If you never hardly do it, one. If you do it sometimes or frequently, three or four. Second, I make assumptions about people based on the group they belong to. So again, one through four. Four, you always do it, one, never do it. Three, I tell jokes and make fun of people due to their body size, and their abilities. Again, one through four. Five, I spread rumors and gossip. One through four. And then, I have negative opinion about certain groups of people. So, now I want you to add up the points you got for that section. And if you have a low score, that's good. That means you are a fair person. You don't want to have a high score on this test. But if you do, what are some things you can work on to make that score lower? All right, so for the second session, a high score means that you are fair in this area. So we're going to do one through four again. You're going to add it up. So four meaning that you, you always do it, and one meaning you never, and two to three is in between. So here we go. I try to learn about my own culture. Four, if you do it a lot. One, you don't do it. 
Second, I try to learn about other culture groups. I listen to others' opinions. Next, when I hear a bad joke about people, I point it out. I speak up for others when they are being treated unfairly. So a high score means that you're fair. So hopefully this activity kind of gave you a reflection on the respect that you show others and maybe allow you to work on some things. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it helps. Um, have a great day and take care. Bye-bye.